I was playing professionally overseas, and then I remember us having practice and being told that I was diagnosed with it. One false move, and it's... One day it was, it was crying, one day it was pain, one day it was, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna beat this. So it was just, I was kinda all over the board. But um, being in that moment, it kinda gave me a greater appreciation too for who I was. So basically, this girl out of Oklahoma had injury, mm -hmm. comes down here, we own it just as far as the, the branding or whatever, just to show that, you know, she's back to normal. Boom, goes back, not even been a week and a half, offer from Georgetown. Did almost 50,000 views, bro. And then her mom and them said, nobody, nobody was nobody. taking a chance. Look at her, they call me. Hey, Hell this. yeah. <laughs> hey, see, they know what's happening. And I saw that I damn near wanted to cry. Oh man, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Now all they gotta do, what we was talking about, all they gotta do is, is, is lay a blessing on somebody else in the future. Marcus Walker, my title, I like to call myself a life changer. For most people, I guess you can call me a player development specialist. And if we're talking about the things that I do in the community, I guess you could just say that I'm a lover of people. You know, growing up, I would tell people I was from the north side of Kansas City. It's basically uh, the hood, I guess you can call it. Specifically 18th and Vine, but it's only about three blocks from where I do all my work, so that makes it even more better. I live and breathe this area, you know what I'm saying? This stuff, it's not just the neighborhood, and this environment is what made me who I am. As far as like accolades and who I was as a person, I've done a lot of great things but it's the people that's going to reap the benefits of what I'm doing right now that's going to be my legacy. And I want to be the voice of our region to say, nah, we got some of the best talent here regardless of what y'all talking about. I use my status and my resources to bring light to the players in my area. And so it's just crazy to see everything that Grindhouse basketball has turned into because I only started it out of pain and anger, but now it's become a, a global name. When I found out about, you know, my Lord's heart, to me, it's like finding out that someone passed, you kind of in denial, you know what I mean? I have been doing this stuff my whole life. You go through life and then you try to figure out your why, your purpose. And so for the longest time, I, I was thinking that it had a lot to do with me and what I would be doing as an athlete. It was a man in my church and he was asking me this one question like, why do I feel that God brought me home? And he was like, what if I told you that your purpose or what you was made for had nothing to do with you playing basketball and that everything that's happening present time is what you were put on this earth for. I was supposed to get a defibrillator in my heart, but I chose not to. And so we're here today. The more I work out, the greater my, my chances of my heart, you know, increasing in size, and then it can potentially grow too big and then basically explode. You got this heart problem, what you gonna do? You gonna fold or you gonna bounce back? And so it's like, I just keep living just so my story can be a motivation and inspiration to somebody who may feel like whatever they're going through go. is the end of it. Now I can just look at the basket. I see you. Uh, two hands. Everything is calculated. It counts. I'm praying that grind.
Grindhouse is showing people that just be a good person and share love and just be a blessing because you never know what somebody's going through.